Hello, today in this module we are going to discuss how to create an assignment for a learner behavior as well as copy that assignment so that you can use it um, in different places. So the first thing we need to do is log into Synergy. We're then going to go to the gradebook and we're going to create a new assignment. So this is the same way that you create an ass a regular content assignment. I want to make sure that I am in marking period one or the particular marking period that I'm grading it. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to be scoring the independent learner behaviors. So I'm going to, um, in the description, be as detailed as I possibly can um, because remember parents will see this. This is going to be classwork and then I'm going to find behavior. Remember that for standards-based grading, I always want to use WCPS standards rubric. So I'm going to make sure I select that. And I'm going to make sure all of this information is the way that I want it. I do want this in the parent portal, so I'm going to leave this checked. Now I need to find the standard or the learner behavior standard in which um, supports what I am assessing or creating on the standard. So I'm going to click all standards. I'm going to find English language arts. Remember, the learner behaviors are listed under each content area, so we're not grading behavior during the actual grading of the actual assignment, but instead it's a separate grading um, assignment. So English language arts, grade three, and my learner behaviors are listed under language arts. I'm going to select marking period one, learner behaviors, and then I'm going to find independent work habits. Remember that those learner behaviors are listed under each content area. So if I were grading um, the learner behavior for math, I would come to math in grade three, and then I'd click learner behaviors. Because some kids perform differently behavior-wise in different content areas as well as for different teachers. So we wanted to make sure that we give teachers the opportunity to grade learner behaviors in different content areas. So once everything has been um, selected and is listed the way that I want it to be, I click Save Assignment. And as you can see, it shows here in my gradebook, so it will take you directly to that page. And that is how you create a learner behavior assignment. Next, we want to make sure that we are able to copy this assignment. So I'm going to go back up here to gradebook. I'm going to come down to copy assignments. This will give me all of the assignments that I've created for my reading class, marking period one. So if you don't see your learner behavior or your assignment here, you want to come up here to make sure that you are in your correct marking period. So again, this brings us back to the screen where we are able to copy things. So I'm going to select learner behavior. This gives you the filters as far as where you're copying it from and the marking period in which you're copying it from. Now I want to copy it to a different class, so I'm going to actually copy it to science for marking period two. I'm going to select finish. I'm going to edit my date and make this due in November. And then I'm going to select finish. Again, it will bring me back directly here. Um, as you can see, you don't see it appear here because it is listed under marking period two. So when I select marking period two and I select science, my independent work habit will be there. So as you can see, this will appear here. You can't edit the standard. Remember, this is just the standard, so I need to find the actual assignment. So I'm going to click this little arrow button, and my actual assignment will appear. So here, I am able to edit my assignment by selecting it and clicking Edit. And I'm going to change this to 
science. I'm going to keep all of this the same. But I'm going to find my learner behavior standard for science. So I'm going to find science, grade 3, and I'm going to find learner behavior marking period 2, independent work habits. Once I've made sure that all of this is the same, I'm going to come up and click Save Assignment. Again, my standards appear, and there is my assignment. And this is how you are able to copy learner behaviors.